All right, Ryan Underwood here, uh, field agronomist for South Central Minnesota. Hi everyone, Reed Olson, field agronomist, uh, Southwest corner of Minnesota. So yeah, we're here standing in a product knowledge plot for Pioneer. We have over a hundred of these in so Southern Minnesota this year. So um, just doing some early season stand establishment, kind of planter pass assessments. Behind us, you'll see some emergence flags where we're going in and trying to evaluate um, timing of emergence. We're going in every 24 hours as we see these plants emerge and flagging them with different colored plants to help identify what interaction uh, just different timing of emergence has. So you'll see we have measured off a thousandth of an acre and we're gonna get in and look at kind of early stand assessment. It's a little bit too early to do our final emergence counts, but we're just assessing overall early stands. Yeah, it's really critical to make sure that you have, before you start doing your stand assessments that you have all your plants up, we're still starting to see some of those later plants starting to uh, still emerging. So really wanna wait to do a final stand establishment or stand count till about V3, V4. So now we'll zoom in and look at a couple places of the field where we've started to kind of assess planter performance and uh, some of the early season growth. So here we're looking at, we've got a thousandth of an acre flagged off. We've got our emergence flag study. So we hear a lot of talk about timing of emergence, one of the most crucial factors, the corn yield. So what we've done here is any green flag you see, uh, that was right at first emergence on this plot. Second, those yellow flags, that's 24 hours later. And then the red flags, over here, we're 48 hours in. So if you zoom in um, to this area here, you'll kind of see a couple examples, a little bit larger plants on those green flags. You can see yellow next. And then here we just flagged our, uh, today our orange flags 48 hours later. So traditionally, our goal would be to have every plant up within a 48 hour period. So um, we'll see, and our goal is to track these through to yield. Um, do some hand harvesting and, and hopefully just get a better idea of our interaction of overall emergence on yield. So um, we'll be rolling this data up for Southern Minnesota. So if you're interested, visit with your Pioneer sales rep and uh, you'll see a lot of these flags across Pioneer um, PK plot locations. Okay, so we're here just checking seed depth now. A um, couple ways to, to, to do this. One way is to actually dig out the trench, look at the, look at the seed and take your measuring tool and kind of the top of the soil line here, measure down and see that one's probably planted about an inch or an inch and a quarter, probably a little shallow. Usually we tell guys to plant about an inch and three quarter, two inches. Uh, a lot of that, what'll happen here is basically you'll uh, mess up a little bit of the nodal root, uh, uh, um, nodal root development there with that plant by being a little bit shallow, you start getting a drought and start getting some poor nodal root development or high wind, you could see some root lodging with, with the shallow planted plants. Another way to measure seed depth here is I dug up a few plants you can see here. So look at this one first. Basically what you, what you do here is you'll look at the seedling here, then you get the mesocotyl and then the coleoptile. And in between the mesocotyl and coleoptile, you'll see a little bit of a notch where it, 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 it it, get, it thickens a little bit. And basically what you can do is take your measuring tool here and measure from the seedling to that notch right at that one inch and then add three quarters of an inch. So that plant was, or that seedling was probably planted about an inch and three quarters. Another um, example here is I got a shallow planted one where you can see here, seedling, same thing, mes or mesocotyl, coleoptile. You can see that little bit of a notch there measured down. And this one was probably planted a little bit shallow, but also one of the reasons for the delay is probably because it had a little bit of a hook in it. So it had a little bit longer distance to, to go to get out of the ground. Um, other thing when I'm digging, when I'm digging roots is I'm looking for nice, healthy, white root tissue, making sure there's no fertilizer burn and stuff like that. So you can see the, the seminal roots, the radical, and all the other plant parts there. So just one thing to look for as you're doing the early stand establishment or uh, emergence and checking how your planter did throughout the, the planting season. So really what we're looking at for is kind of that consistent emergence right now. Um, I don't get really concerned about plant spacing. We want good plant spacing. So right now we're looking at this plant. This plot here was planted about uh, 37,000 uh, seeds per acre. So we're looking at about five or so inches per plant. So that's what we've got in between these three plants I'm looking at here. So um, we've got one plant here that came up very quickly. So this plant, um, you can see that 
first leaf starting to push out. As Ryan indicated before, this plant was planted very shallow, um, only about an inch deep is all. So this plant was here. We've got another plant in the middle um, here, just starting to come through. And then uh, you'll notice this other plant here. So when I first dug this up, you'll notice there's some uh, corn cob stuck there, some residue. We kind of had a hook in uh, the mesocotyl as we started to push through. And that might be just enough to delay that plant a little bit. So just some of the things that I watch for, I like to be careful as I'm digging those seeds up so I can possibly see the exact environment um, that they came in. You can kind of look at overall seed to soil contact and potentially look at what might have delayed that plant from emerging. All right, thanks for watching our uh, stand establishment and uh, kind of our checking behind the planter pass uh, uh, video here. And as you get out into the field and start looking at your field, see how your stand, your stand is uh, establishing and emerging. And hopefully you found some value in this as you take it to your fields. There's a lot of great information at the Growing Point Agronomy Library app or pioneer.com as you're assessing stands and maybe have some questions. So great in agronomy information there. Uh, we appreciate you watching and Plant Pioneer. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Pioneer for more agronomy insights.